The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Benway State, Nigeria, weighing in at 241 pounds, Apollo Crews. A former United States champion won the Intercontinental title at WrestleMania, but Cruz was still struggling to find himself. Yeah, but now that Cruz has found himself, all of WWE is on notice. Time for Cruz to execute on his vision. I just hope he can do that without bleeding from his eyes. Looking into the eyes of this competitor tonight, you know he understands the significance of this match. This is an opportunity to make big headway on the roster. And then we got a man who is built like a Greek god, Apollo Crews, a superstar whose incredible ambitions are only outshone by his incredible abilities. Strength, agility, speed, Crews can really do it all in the ring. I agree, Corey, but I might call it ruthless ambition. Cruz is only interested in his own personal glory, and he won't let anything stand in his way. He steps foot in the ring again. Moved at the right time. A bad punch. Ouch. He 
he turns it around. Quick return to the ring. Cruz escapes the attack. What a headbutt. Ah, striking with a knee. Mistake made by Cruz. Can't quite get it there. And that was an effective attack, guys. All the way up. And the cross. Here he goes for the win. Then he closes it out. Shoulder up even before a one count. What is it going to take? to put him away. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Boom! Right to the throat. Hammering down on the knee. Apollo is going full tilt here. Yeah, Cruz with power and athleticism. <laughs> yes, he didn't come here to watch him boast and taunt. Shades of the USSR with the hammer and sickle. Punch to the stomach. Picture perfect moonsault. Samoan drop. Oh, perfect kick. The Nigerian nightmare just oozing disdain, and the feeling from the WWE universe is mutual. Oh, just scrubbing the face on the canvas. And an elbow drop, too. Oh, ouch. Ooh. Out of the way in time. That elbow looked like it hurt. Close line. Oh, putting focus on the arm here. Apollo isn't being given any room to recover. This is how you mitigate Apollo's rule-breaking tactics, by going on the offensive and keeping him in your sights. Oh, the reversal by Apollo Crews. Snap suplex. Oh, man. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Oh, great. Rearranging our ringside furniture here. Here on the announce desk. What a mess. Power slam. Good night. Fight is so close to our announce table. Yeah, I'm just going to step aside now. Hey, wait for me. He is just reeling from that offense. This is where endurance becomes so important in the late stages of the match. Kick to the gut. Double the under hook. Taco bomb. Apollo is going full tilt here. Yeah, Cruz with power and athleticism. And he slides him back to the mat. Six. And up the turnbuckles we go. From the top. Oh, misses the mark. Saxton, 
One, two, three. We could be four. here all day. Power. I think you're right. A rotating vertical <laughs> suplex. Nicely done. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. And count. Watch out. What a cross body. That was coming in hot at breakneck speed. Going fast and living dangerously. Look at this now, draping his opponent over the announced desk. I have never seen a table explode that way. Full on demolition in the announce area going down. Shot after shot, it's ruthless striking. short of disturbing. Oh, so frightening. So bizarre, so eerie. Welcome to get worse to system. That's gotta be it. Two count. He kicked out of two. I do not know how you survived that. Staying alive there is unheard of. And it's gonna take composure now. Could just need one more big move. These competitors have been unloading on each other since the bet. Just looking for that window of opportunity. And now might be the time to seize the moment. Now is the time to keep the pressure on. And Apollo Crews reverses it. Apollo is going to look to press on the advantage. Could be a change of... From the top, a super power slam. As the wrist trap. And now a series of stick -cooks. Apollo is looking for the final exclamation. But uh oh, he's able to fend off the attack. Big cross body. Claw in the face. Is this necessary? Ripping at the eyes. Getting caught by the axe handle. Using the elbow to escape the attack. Counters on counters. Technical prowess on display. And this place is jumping. He turns it around. Reversals, reversals, and reversals. Cross body. Cruz's resolve might be wavering here. Some flaws in Cruz's game plan are being exposed. Oh, worked out with the cross body. Mistake made by Cruz. Close the line on the back of the neck. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Flipping center. Doubling attack on the knee. Moves outside. What's the plan here? Apollo Cruz, such a unique hybrid of power and agility. Driven into the barricade. Three. Apollo letting him know. Not allowing that to go on any longer. Whoa. Right across the knee. He'll oh. look locked in. This is painful. <laughs> Sit straight into the barricade. Uh-oh. Able to reverse that one. Four. And he gets set back into the ring. This is nothing 
nothing short of disturbing. Oh, so frightening. So bizarre. So eerie. Welcome get worse to sister. Extremely competitive match. Well, Apollo didn't have it going on here tonight. is always ready for a fight. The following is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Marineville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin Owens! A major name before WWE, but now has a Hall of Fame-worthy resume. He's won the Universal title. He's competed in the main event of WrestleMania, and KO still isn't done fighting. Since day one, it has been about one thing, fight Owens' fight. And the time to fight is just moments away. Jey Uso, a man who has grown immeasurably under the bloodline. And his partner, representing the Usos from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 242 pounds. Main event, Jey Uso! Main event, Jey Uso. The right-hand man to the head of the table has held many tag team championships, but won the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal, main evented, the sky is the limit for Jey Uso. Judgment Day is here, and the WWE Universe will feel their wrath. And accompanied by Rhea Ripley at a combined weight of 439 pounds, the Raw Tag Team Champions, Damian Priest and Finn Balor, the Judgment Day. Each member of the Judgment Day has been successful in their own right, but together, they might be unstoppable. No brand, no division is safe from the wrath of Judgment Day. Yeah, here's a scary thing. Others are starting to believe the lies the Judgment Day is spouting.
getting ready to kick off this exciting tag team match. It's going to be Kevin Owens and Jey Uso. And across from them, they will be squaring off with Damian Priest and Finn Balor. Both sides in this match know that tag team competition is a very specific, very unique art form. We're gonna see just who will be the better team here tonight. Rapid fire Samoan drop. Spin kick to the midsection. Close line over the top, all the way to the floor. Oh yeah, now. Whoa. Over the top, up he goes. Let's get crazy. That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that was. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. He's looking a little off balance. Oh, what a counter. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. Into a neck breaker. Oh, he fights Jay back. spilled out to the ringside area. And as we can see, tension's really running high now. Uh, yeah, we should probably clear the way, guys. All right. Driven down. And he said, you're not getting me with that this time. And we're going to reverse it. Talk about evenly matched here. Placing them into the corner. Uh-oh. There's the backbreaker. Right across the chest. Oh! Uh-oh, this is just vicious. Oh, that'll break his arm. Vicious. Some miscues from Jay Uso here. Jay out of there in a hurry. Good 
night. So goes for a quick ride. Damian Priest would like to be your guy. It's going to be fun, because here comes the Ninja Master, the Master of Martial Arts. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Kobe, Japan, weighing in at 156 pounds, Akira Kozawa. Are you ready for the power of Tozawa? I sure am. One of the toughest strikers on the roster. Tazawa possesses stamina for days. Yeah! Gentlemen, the
the ninja battle is about to begin. Some people might see The Miz as a brazen, loud mouth, but there's no question how Miz sees himself. He thinks he's awesome, and throughout his highly successful career, he's pretty much proven that claim to be true. Well, The Miz might just have the biggest ego in the history of this industry, and that's saying something, but you're right. There's no denying that he's backed up all of his arrogant claims by being a talented competitor. And now The Miz is ready to once again show the entire WWE Universe just how awesome he can be. He's gonna have to be careful for ninja stars while facing Akira Tozawa. A multiple time 24 7 champion, Tozawa will always capitalize on an opportunity and then ninja vanish. Tozawa definitely keeps his opponents on their toes by throwing everything he has at them. Close line! Oh, come on now. The Miz is being reprehensible. Shortcuts. You can't fault the Miz for being smart and bending the rules to his advantage, Cole. And if you want to beat him, you can't be afraid to bend those rules either. You really have to try and beat Miz at his own game. Him with the counter. 
One reversal after another. These two are... The Miz has it hard. Score! Crushing finale. Gazzara looks out of it. Two! I was not expecting that from him at this point. And guys, the Miz is incredulous. He expected to have his hand raised by now, but it didn't happen. We are seeing a lot of guts, a lot of determination out there. You have to wonder where that one turning point to end this will come from. Trying to steal him here. How does anyone have this much in them at this point? Kick it out in time. This is going to come down to who wants it more. Strong right form. DT. strength. still seems so fresh. It's almost unbelievable. Sent into the corner. Miz counters with an attack. The superstar building incredible momentum. Oh, I mean, this is, I don't know how the superstar is doing it. Down and out moments ago. Back in it now. Was ready for that. Sequence of reversals here. Both superstars clearly studied game tape ahead of time. Chest as well. Here it comes. Skull crushing ball. Each one keeps getting more devastating. The Miz wins. Here is your winner. The Miz. They went the extra mile in this win. I agree. What a win. Well, we know that saying about the best laid out plans didn't come together for Tazawa tonight. Discussing 
strategy. Two absolute geniuses of the mat game. Yeah, tonight we're about to see their thesis. Say hello to Imperium. Giovanni Vinci, Ludwig Kaiser in the ring channel. Guter. And at a combined weight of 737 pounds, Giovanni Vinci, Guter, and Ludwig Kaiser. Imperium clearly are not here to have fun, but you have to respect their mission statement of the mat being sacred. Oh, I do, but I've seen your matches, Saxton, and you do not respect their mission statement. Have you seen my matches? I definitely consider the mat sacred. Oh, my gosh. He's undefeated. success. It's warfare in the ring tonight with Tommaso Ciampa, Otis, and Chad Gable. And the opposing team is, of course, filled with Giovanni Vinci, Guther, and Ludwig Kaiser. Quick tag and staying fresh are imperative in a tag match. The question is, which duo has the better teamwork to stick to that strategy? Good grief. Oh, big time strength with the German. Whoa. by the turnbuckles. Tag. This precision teamwork. Just like that. Thrown back in under the ropes. Clearly waiting for that. And how exactly do you put your ego aside in a six-man tag team match? There's a lot of pride on both sides here. But if you're smart, you place victory as priority number one. Because if one wins, you all win. Play for the team now. If you want to fight over the credit, challenge them to a singles match later and settle it all then. Using the ropes as a launching pad. Oh, springboard cross body. That is tossing your own body around without a care. Taking no account for their own well-being. Big time. Looking 
impressive. And he tosses it back in now. Gentlemen, this is what I believe we refer to as mud hole stomping. He's in off the tag. Ah. Ooh. And the attack from Otis avoided. Oh, my goodness. It makes him pay with a counter. Suplex, but Gable still going. A second. Will the third time be the charm? Yes, it is for the Academy. That's gotta be it. Incoming. Oh, the top rope. The damage he's taking is starting to pile. Still up? Squatting too, my gosh! Whoa! 
The son of a dream, the American nightmare. Michael, a man who redefined himself away from WWE and is now a main event star. Mysterio these days is walking down a very dark path in his career. I think Dominic Mysterio has all the potential in the world. I agree with you, Cole, and it looks like Dominic's already starting to realize that potential. can get out of control when competing in this type of matchup. Corey, is there any way for the side that's outnumbered to pick up the win? One way to overcome the odds is to keep the same person in the ring. That way it becomes a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Things always get out of hand in a handicap match, but if the ring is cut off and an opponent is isolated, it could help even the odds. 
Didn't you just say that, Corey? Anyhow, that's why a question in a handicap match is, will the person who struck first be the one who strikes last? Oh, and a kick. Oof. And that one misses the mark. Rhodes with a plan in mind. Oh, God, what a brain buster. Put into the corner now. Oh, oh, elbow caught him right on the bridge of the nose. stressors in a handicap match, Corey. Well, not only do you have to overcome the numbers, you have to overcome the different styles of your opponent. You can't strategize for just one superstar, so you really have to be ready for anything. He's got the answer for that one. See, an answer for every move attempted. He's struggling a bit here. Yeah, but at this point in a handicap match, you have to expect some lasting damage. Considering the situation, things could be far worse. Right hand, what are we gonna see here? Uh oh, spiking DDT. The American Nightmare feeling that adrenaline in his soul. Into the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Crisis mode. Makes the cover. He manages to kick out. What strength. You gotta be kidding me. Surviving that maneuver is absolutely amazing. You gotta wonder what more Cody has to do to put him away here. And Dominic is failing to offer any resistance here. Yeah, Cody Rhodes is clearly in control. Big elbow drop. He's absorbed some damage already. Gets him in position. This is not going. Looking for some company up on the top rope in the high rent district. Look at this power. Look at the strength. This superstar taking their time, but it's a superplex. Cody sparing some time for the adoring fans. He made it. Tag made. Hold on a second. Could be a matter of time. Submission. Play. Look at this. Oh, God. Tempted fate and paid dearly for it. That haphazard approach definitely proved costly. What is Cody Rhodes looking for here? Oh, my. Delivering the Verna Breaker. Looking to end this. Rose just turned the lights out. Is it enough? The cover. Two. It's over. It is over. Here is your winner. The American Nightmare, Cody Rose. And the celebrations underway. This win is going to happen for quite some time, I have to believe. Winning's great, Saxton, but they have to start thinking about their next challenge sooner rather than later. This win won't be all that matters.
She's a feared MMA grappler who is always ready to fight. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, representing Pretty Mean Sisters from Sioux Falls, South Dakota. The Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. A menacing look in her eye. Michael, I think you mean terrifying? Baszler is ready to subdue any and all opposition she encounters. Baszler just absolutely loves combat in any form. You say that like it's a bad thing. <laughs> Prepare yourselves. This is not for the weak of heart. Expert joint manipulation, unlimited aggression on tap. Focused on dominance, would rather submit opponents than gain a pinfall victory. She's a badass, plain and simple. Shayna Baszler. Oh yeah, I like her a lot. From Vancouver, British Columbia, one half of the Women's Tag Team Champions, Chin C. Green. The feeling, the electricity in the arena right now is unlike anything I've ever felt in quite some time. This match is going to be good. Ida is not on the line, but she knows a loss tonight will mean a future defense. She will be on her A game tonight. Superstars worked hard to get where they are today to reach the top of the division. Oh, yeah, and just look into their eyes. They do not plan on stepping down anytime soon. Focused and poised. If they play their cards right, guys, this match could be a declarative statement. And then there's Shayna Baszler, someone who simply believes that there's nothing sweeter than the experience of breaking down her opponent any way that she possibly can. You don't have to like it, but you can't deny that Baszler's made an art form out of systematically breaking down just about anyone she stood across the ring from since arriving in WWE. Oh, double axe handle. She was clearly waiting for that. Boom! Carefully measuring. Bionic elbow driven down. She's beginning to flag a little. A knee drop delivered. So precise. Boom! Shannon Basler loves to work a methodical style and pace in the ring, and I imagine she'll maintain that strategy here tonight. It hasn't steered her wrong yet. It hasn't. Basler loves to keep a slow and grueling pace in there, so the best and most obvious way is to pick up the pace. Don't let Basler stay comfortable. Speed it up and make her work for it. Nobody home for that one. Targeting the neck. Neck breaker. display of power. You can see the agony on her. You gotta respect her continued effort to get out of this, to continue fighting, to survive. Bad predicament right here. Oh, put down face first. Counters. Oh, counters right into the bread basket. Baszler had it scouted. Going counter for counter. Now, can it be capitalized on? And another counter. Oh, look at this. Is it enough, guys? Is Shot. it enough? And had something going, but can't finish the job. Now a 
she's allowing the WWE Universe to simply soak it all in. Stepping through. Legs all locked up here. Just punishing their opponent. Oh, oh man, a stomp. Baszler needs to head this attack off of the pass. And Baszler being forced to work a speedier pace than she's accustomed to or comfortable with. That's not quite working out for her here. Oh, and she turns it around. Shayna there keeping that stream of offense in check. Now's a chance for Baszler to get back into this match. So dangerous. The superstar building incredible momentum. Oh, I mean, this is, I don't know how the superstar is doing it. Down and out, moments ago. Back in it now. <laughs> the Queen of Spades. Showing her power, Yokosuka Cutter. Baszler doing what she does best right there. Emphatically breaking. Baszler. And I'll submit. Look, look at this, Court. Look at this. Finding her way out. How did she break that hole? Spectacular. Pick the leg. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. That is for the Raw Women's Championship. Raquel Rodriguez, a massive presence in the women's division. about the incredible resume of Raquel Rodriguez. In her first three years, she's been an NXT Women's Tag Team Champion, a Dusty Rhodes Classic winner, an NXT Women's Champion, and a WWE Women's Tag Team Champion. Introducing the challenger from Rio Grande Valley, Texas, Raquel Rodriguez. And her opponent from Adelaide, Australia, she is the Raw Women's Champion, Rhea. As you heard, Raw Women's Championship being defended here. This is all about being on top of the women's division on Monday Night Raw, waving the red flag what the Raw Women's Championship means to these women. Tossing their opponent like they're nothing. <laughs> I honestly can't believe we just saw a human being tossed like that. Saw that one coming, took advantage. Oh, and that will keep Rodriguez at bay. Saw it coming and got out of there. She scores big with the counter. Ripley gets her back. 
And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. What a hot shot! It's it all the way to the outside. The challenger eating up some damage. You know, Rhea Ripley is all about methodically destroying her opponents in the ring. So if I was taking her on, I'd try to control the tempo and make her compete at my speed, not allowing her to find a good offensive rhythm. Not a bad idea. That might just be enough to throw Ripley off her game. And that one's scouted. On the road with the boot. She anticipated that one. Showing out their deadlifting prowess and just tossing their opponent like they're nothing. Just got thrown around like a sack of you know what. Oh, there's a response against Raquel. Good job. Rhea Ripley can kill with a smile and wound with her eyes. Big boom. The challenger is not in a great place. And you can just tell Ripley enjoyed delivering that punishment. that caused the damage, but they certainly contributed. That dodge can buy Raquel time. The champion's down, the champion's down. Oh my God, we're gonna have a new champion. She shows that she's far from finished. She dodged that one nicely. Close line. Well, that'll leave a mark. Jaw shattering boot. What are they gonna do here? Leg snap. The other end too. Kick to the gun. 
Here he comes. There's the win tie. Now that is why they're the champ. away with a big win. This certainly wasn't an easy win, but she pulled it off. And the end?